Uh, the United States flag, the California flag, the prisoner of war flag, and the Sea of Downey flag as city facilities. In it. So that could be flown. Uh, then it goes into to talk about what are commemorative flags. So it's not technically clear if it's a commemorative or not, but it is defined as the initial set of flags that should be flown. It, it just, <clears throat> this, this motion strikes me as a direct attack on the pride flag. Um, if you're going to come make up, and I want the POW flag to be flown. Let me make that clear. This is not to eradicate the flag. But let's be clear on what we're doing. This motion came about because of a group called Mass Resistance. We're sitting in the back. Um, I'm surprised our leader is not here, Arthur Sharp, today. Mass Resistance has been deemed as a hate group by the Southern California Poverty uh, Law Center. Um, their two um, goals are basically anti-immigration and anti uh, pride flag, let's just be clear. And it's unfortunate that it was brought about um, through this hate group um, who hides behind religious. Uh, you have religious people coming forward, you know, talking about the Bible, and these are the same families and parents that um, are prone to kicking out their child who comes out to them. Uh, it, it strikes me as hypocritical. When you come here and you quote the Bible um, to try to eradicate this flag, um, that's why they kept talking about we been coming here because it is an organized uh, group. Let's, <laughs> you know, that's clear to me. Um, this is a step backwards for our city. Uh, Downey is a leader in the region, and uh, when Downey chose to raise that flag, it talked about inclusivity. It talked about an openness. Um, and I think that message of all the people in Downey uh, really resonates with our youth. Um, I remember when the flag went up, receiving emails from one um, high school student in particular who was thanking me because um, he had just been kicked out of his parents' home and was living with his aunt in Downey. And he said, I plan on staying in Downey because I know that this is a safe space for him. Um, the pride flag did not come about um, out of the need or necessity to celebrate the LGBT community, but rather a right to exist without prosecution. Um, the statistics are clear. The suicide rate is higher among LGBT youth who have to deal with the shame and the being ostracized by their families. Um, I thought the city was an ally um, to a group of people who have been persecuted. I mean, look at the dialogue that's going across the, the, the country about removing rights of the LGBT community. So again, the pride flag did not come about to celebrate it, but rather a right to exist without persecution. So to the straight people, instead of wondering why an LGBT flag is flying, be thankful that you don't need a straight flag because you haven't been persecuted. It's disappointing that this council is considering removing the pride flag. Um, and while you may have LGBT members uh, in your family, you can rest assured that after tonight, they will not consider you an ally. Allies are individuals that uh, speak up for the constitutional values of equality and fairness. Um, rights that the LGBT community still doesn't have at the federal level. But interestingly enough, the White House flies the flag. The supervisors um, unanimously have chosen to fly the flags. Our assemblywoman um, is asking that we continue to fly the flag. I think it's a step backwards. I agree with Council Member Ortiz, and it is unfortunate. I mean, we pride ourselves on being Downey. Um, community that's now 75% Latino, but we have this certain conservative edge to our city, which I understand. But um, <clears throat> that flag represents so much more than uh, just colors. And some people are offended by the flag. 
Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but I do believe it represents safety, a sense of belonging for everyone, especially for those who have been mistreated or marginalized, discriminated against, attacked uh, for being different. Um, so I just want everyone to be clear, this is an eradication of the pride flag. If you're, if you're carving out an exception for the POW flag, this is a direct attack on the pride flag. And it is an unfortunate message that we will send to the community that, at least here in Downey, uh, don't look to us as allies for your community, or at least not current composition of this council. Um, but with that said, um, let's take a vote. <laughs> 